American Idol 2007 with Reality Revealed. One of the best experiences I'll ever have. It's amazing. Idolize. Booyah. Only on Fox Reality Channel. I'm J.D. Roberto with Reality Revealed for American Idol 2007. It was British Invasion Week, complete with two 60s legends and, of course, the Idol's own crying girl. But who made her cry? Well, this might surprise you. British Invasion Week was my favorite week of the whole competition. Lulu was fun. She was wild and she was just an awesome person. Lulu is adorable. She's like a mix between Olivia Newton-John and I don't even know. She's she's just hilarious. Peter Noon was the best guest advisor, I think, for me at least, because he actually gave advice um, on how to become a better artist, not just how to sing a song better on a TV show. Peter Noon, he was really into the boys of what they were all doing and offered a lot of help. He said, get down to the lyric. He's like, with every song you sing for the rest of your life, get down into the lyric figure out what the story is. Lulu is somebody who I will never forget. She like loved demonstrating things to them and she would sing phrases to them and make them sing it back to her. She was really into it, it was great. And she started to sing with us and she's so adorable. She gave some great advice too. She's, just, she's all about the emotion of a song. She was really sweet. She took the time out to sing a song for me that I perhaps could have chosen and I didn't do it. But she was like, here's my phone number, call me anytime. I would love to talk to you beyond this. And I was like, that's great. Sanjaya's biggest fan, Ashley, or the crying girl, as she became known, uh, came to a dress rehearsal. And she just sat there and cried her eyes out. When Sanjaya came out, you know, he goes down in the crowd in the dress rehearsal, sees her crying, and she just goes nuts. Like, I mean, like, fell down on the floor in dress rehearsal. It was, it was really surreal. And I was kind of scared, and I was kind of scared for her, because I didn't know necessarily what she was really crying about. What they failed to tell you is that she cried like that for every single person who performed that night. She would look at any of us and just start crying out of nowhere. That poor girl, she's gonna need therapy. I think it made for memorable TV. I don't think it did very well for the competition, but, you know, it did great for TV. I definitely didn't think Sanjaya would have, you know, that emotional fan base. Definitely like Chris Rich or Blake. Def I thought definitely, if anybody is gonna, you know, have the screaming, you know, crying girls, it'd be those two. The first time I saw her, she actually had a sign that was reversed, and the other side said something like, I'm a Gina fan. On the back of her sign for Sanjaya was, I love you, Gina, which really made me upset, because I could have been a hit. <laughs> but that's okay. She liked a lot of us, but they just focused on Sanjaya, like they always do. But I'm not bitter. I'm J.D. Roberto with Reality Revealed, and we've got all the lowdown on the Idol's relationships you were about to hear who had a huge crush on Chris Richardson, and you'll find out who Gina might leave her boyfriend for. And no, it's not me. I've heard some producers tell us this was the closest they've ever seen the top 12. Chris Rich, uh, you know, he and I used to work out together because he was like, dude, you need to lose some weight. <laughs> and so I was like, you're right, I do. People make such a, a big deal about me and Chris like working out together. I think he went down and worked out with me maybe twice. I'd be like down running, he'd be like, run faster. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I hate you right now, but I love you. It was only twice that we ended up working out, so. I know, I guess I turned into his personal trainer. <laughs> Chris and Blake are great with children. My daughter, Chloe, she's three and a half years, and her first major crush was on Chris Richardson. Chloe just got to, got to talking one night to me, and she wouldn't stop. She had, she had more questions than <laughs> you could read in a book. Every little thing she did right, if she put her toys away or something, she'd be like, Chris, I put my toys away. Chloe, with her little, the way she batted her eyes, she was just, <laughs> she's, she's a sweetheart. I've got like endless hours of video footage with her flirting with Chris Richardson. Chris Richardson's my best friend and uh, it's just really weird like when you meet someone that's really like you, like almost like to the bone, like it's really, you know, it's like that never happens. Like you don't meet someone like every day, you know, just randomly that, you know, like same mood, like same taste in everything. It's really weird. It's just kind of tough because we have same taste in women. So when we go out, it's like, oh, and, all right, whatever, you know. Blake and I are um, very similar when it comes to relationships. I think we're both hopeless romantics, and 
I, you know, find him very attractive. Gina and I, we met. It was awesome. We have this like uh, sexual energy between us. Like, uh, she's just rad. She's just like one of those girls that you're like, man, how come I don't know you already? You know? Him and I are just alike in the way that we think and the way that we talk. We're both. Yeah, there is a there is some sexual tension there. You walk in the room. She's just like her spirit, uh, her energy is just really charismatic and. Uh, She's just fun. Like, her and I have so much fun together. It's ridiculous. It like, should be illegal. But I have a boyfriend, and I'd always be faithful. I'd never, ever cheat on him. But if I asked him for maybe a day off, he'd give it to me for Blake. <laughs> you can find out what the idols thought was the hardest part of the competition if you keep it right here. There's more reality revealed next on Fox Reality Channel. I'm J.D. Roberto with Reality Revealed. Well, apparently a beautiful voice isn't the only thing that is gonna get the idols a recording contract. Plus, the idols all agree on one thing. What stressed them out the most during the competition? I know what I voted for, and it wasn't always necessarily the best singer on the show. It's the one who brought the magic to the stage. The show's about really finding somebody that's different from everybody else. There's some people that don't have the best voice, but their personality is just so magnetic, and you just, you wanna get to know that person. People vote as much for stage presence and personality as they do for, you know, singing. It's a, a performing contest, it's a singing contest, it's a personality contest, and I think that um, the contestant who successfully puts together all of those elements and, and makes us uh, on the other side of the TV like them are the ones who rise to the top. You're going for personality, you're going for looks, you're going for what attracts you, the charisma. Some people think that that's unfair because this is a, a singing competition. But if you look at the music industry as a whole, you know, a lot of the artists in the top 10 today are not the best singers. You're not saying pick up the telephone to give us the best singer, it's who you like. No one can get upset about, you know, someone who doesn't have a, the best voice in the world getting far in the competition because that's how the, that's how the industry actually works and it's, this is just a fair representation of that. Song selection process is definitely the hardest part of this whole contest. Song selection was hard for me. You just, you never know what America wants to hear. Song selection was nearly impossible for me <laughs> because I grew up listening to sacred music. You can play it safe and do a really great song and then we've had people in the past and people this season who introduced us to brand new songs like, um, you know, Chris did that, Chris Richardson did that a lot. Blake and Chris, they just did a good job of picking interesting contemporary songs. And I would always try to pick songs of music that I love like now and um, and try to give people like the whole gist of what type of album I would come out with. A few weeks in, my family was like, why does Chris and Blake keep singing your songs? Like, like songs that I should have thought of about picking. You always want to make sure that you're choosing the right songs and that you're impressing the judges and you hope America likes it. So it's a lot of stress. So who do the idols think are gonna make it to the finale? We'll find out next time on Reality Revealed.